All right. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the enthusiasm uh, and the love right off the top. Yeah, we in Montreal. I know it's a 18-year-old drinkers, and that's that's good. You should drink when you're young. That's important right there, because, yeah, because you, you got to realize when you get a little older, you got to realize, do I really need my liver? You know, people, you got to realize your limit on drinking, you know, because I was a victim uh, of a DUI, and uh, I say I was a victim because uh, I pulled myself I already knew. I said, this, this is not going to go well at all right here. So, you know, I did the right thing and uh, pulled myself over. But uh, evidently, the police seen me, pull me over, and uh, he going to come try to take over my pullover. And I said, well, uh, I be damned, officer, because uh, he was like, do you know why I pull you over? And I said, well, first of all, you did not pull me over. So uh, you can't take credit for this apprehension right here. This was... This was already my call, but uh, yeah, because he just tried to take over the pullover. And uh, uh, he's like, well, I pulled you over for a suspicion of a DUI. And I said, well, that's the same damn reason I pulled me over, too. So uh, yeah, I like, let's, let's work together on this. But uh, they never like to work with you on uh, any charges whatsoever, because uh, he wanted me to step out the vehicle and uh, take a field sobriety test, and I told him, I said, I don't think this would be a good night for me to take the test, you know, because uh, I want to pass. I want to pass, but uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to pass without no notes or nothing. This just uh, not on the side of the road because it's a hard test because it's just on the side of the road, but they call it a field sobriety test, and I said, this is not a field right here because, uh, yeah, because in a field, I feel like I might run in a field. I just feel like I might run because it's a field that's what you do on fields you just take the hell off running but uh i'm just having a good time man it's cool you know yeah you got to enjoy yourself because you know people try to stress you out you know i remember the police used to be your friend you know they used to come to the school and uh, tell you you have a friend in law enforcement young man but uh when you get grown you cannot find officer friendly no more at all he's like i don't like i don't think he work here no more because uh, you were not acting like this at the assembly program, but uh, yeah, stuff just changes, you know, as we, you know, we live in a technology age, you know, everything is digital, you know, you got to, yeah, you got to work if you want to get something done these days, like they, you can't just go in the uh, grocery store no more and think you're just going to be a shopper, nope, you got to get on the clock that day, uh, no training whatsoever, I don't know who started the little you check yourself out movement, but that's, that's not the career move I'm looking for when I... Uh, go into the safe way. You know, I just come in the safe way as a shopper, but they uh, put you on the clock. Lady uh, uh, tricked me. She told me there was no waiting over here, and uh, I follow her over there, and uh, she just walked the hell away, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, where are you going? Where are you going? And uh, she was like, sir, you can check yourself out. And I'm like, but I don't, I don't work here. I shouldn't have to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm like, these are my clothes. These are my clothes. But uh, yeah, I came in with this on, but uh, I didn't have no name tag or nothing. Just, uh, yeah, because she felt like I was qualified. So I, I told her, I said, what the hell? Turn on my light. I guess I'm open, you know, because you got to. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have your light on to be open. I know that, cause you can't just be at a register and your light ain't on. So, uh, you know, people were trying to get in my line, you know, and I, I was like, wait, wait a minute. You know, I gotta learn my fruit codes. I gotta learn my fruit codes, cause, yeah, you'll be there all day if you don't know your fruit and your produce code, cause uh, you, you think you know what fruit look like, but you really don't, cause I, do the item look up, I'd be like, I don't know if that's a plum or a plute. I don't really know. So, yeah, could be a nectarine. I don't know. And, and I take my little cash in serious now, though. I, I have become a good ass cashier. I'm really proud of my development. You know, like when I put my little membership card in, and the lady be like, a welcome, valued customer. And I'll be like, I'm not a customer. I work here, you know, so I, 
Me and her don't get along off the top, so I already know we gonna have problems because she like, she like to talk back all the time, you know, because I'm a good scanner and a good backer, but she'll start talking every time I get to working good because I'll be like, doop, put it in a little bag, doop, put it in a little bag, doop, put it, I'll be like, man, I'm a good ass cashier. He's like, doop, put it in the bag, but then she'll start talking and uh, she'll be like, Rem please remove the last item. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know what the hell the last item was. I ain't got to, I wasn't keeping up with the item, so I'm working backwards trying to figure out what the hell the last item is. And then she started talking again. She'd be like, uh, unexpected item in the bagging area. And I'm like, no, I expected all that right there when I put it in there, because I, yeah, I had a list when I came in, so I know I put all that in the bag on purpose. But uh, I told my supervisor, I'm not going to be able to work with her at all right there. So yeah, you got to. You got to get me another lady, because I'm not going to work with her. But, um, <laughs> hey, y'all have been a wonderful man. I appreciate you, Montreal, man. Much love. I've been riding, man. Much love. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.